High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, looking at the clock and the time, it is time for school. Of course, we're talking about High Plains Technology. Technology. You'd think I do this for a living. <laughs> Welcome back, Katie Shirley and Mrs. Rogers. Good to have you. Good morning, Brett. Good morning. <laughs> Today, um, I have our service careers um, instructor, Karen Rogers, and she's going to tell us about um, a whirlwind of events coming up, um, starting out with the service careers plant cell. And I just have to say, every time I share about the service careers plant cell on social media, it is the number one um, reached and liked and shared post of any post I ever share for years now. So people love the plant cell and most people probably know about it, but we're, if you haven't heard about it yet, now you'll get to learn more about it. So Karen, just tell us about the plant cell. We'll, we'll start our plant cell on April 21st and 22nd. And, um, it's just, it's just a great event. It's a great event for, I think the community, but also for my students and my kids, who has spent a good part of the year raising plants and propagating and um, repotting and uh, doing all kinds of things, watering and miracle putting miracle growing things in um, in the greenhouse. So it's been a it, it's um, it's a really a neat combination to all of their work. Um, so on April twenty first and twenty second um, at nine o'clock in the morning till six o'clock in the evening. Uh, we will be open, and it's going to be a little different than it's been the last two years because um, we're going to go back to the old way where we're going to be outside. Um, we're going to um, some of it's going to be in the greenhouse, some of it's going to be set around, and we're going to people are going to get to quote shop. I right. guess is what you take not, your time. Not so much through that single file line and kind of have to wait with all the COVID restrictions we had. So now it's just back to you. Just get to shop around and pick what you want, and then go check out. Right, right. And you'll you'll we'll have all the geraniums in one place and you'll be able to pick which ones you want instead of instead of just having things on a table that you just a few that you could select from. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited about that. Yes, that um, is nice. Um it it will be set up um out by our greenhouse. So um there'll be a uh, the the gates will be open and we'll we'll have parking and um where the buses Right. And so now they're gonna want to go to the south entrance right because right. if, if you go to the south you'll see where the gates are open and where you'll see the greenhouse from that back of the behind the school south part and um, right there um in the parking lot you can drive back in through there and you'll see the greenhouse so now you've got me confused you come down hank's trail yes and then enter back there like yes. where your wind yeah kind of in be- before you got to the stuff. wind that okay. same road you go right to it all right, and then that climbing tower, and so um, I'm, we're we're hopefully um, going to have that set up with signs and mm-hmm. things, so that it'll make it a little bit easier for people, yeah. and maybe have a few more instructions as we get closer yes. to time, and and kind of uh, um, have things nailed down exactly how we're going to do it, right? Because because like I said, it's a it's going to be kind of new uh, the setup this year, yeah. And that um, we're gonna we're gonna be spreading out just a little bit more and giving people a little bit more room to. Um, so to walk around so that they won't be right on top of each other. So, nice. so, um, and I'm I'm excited. So tell us about some of the plant options you have. Okay, well we'll start out with um, uh, we have lots of of annuals um, from verbena lantana to um, osteospermum. Um, we've we've got most of our most of the annuals and things we have. I would say eighty to ninety percent of it will be the sun loving plants the plants okay. that do well Makes in the sense. heat because and the wind mm-hmm. <laughs> you know because Tolerant we've had to uh, Northwest so much Oklahoma. wind here lately and, and and they love the heat um, we've got things like ice plant and dorianthus that are that just the hotter it is the more they flower rose moss and purslane kind of the same way so we've got a lot of plants uh, a lot of annuals that that love the sun we'll have a few of the shade loving things but um just not as much um we also have a we have perennials we have a, a kind of a pretty good assortment of perennials we have um some salvias um some that are more like a bush like the greg eye salvias um and then we've got some that are a little closer to the ground um that have that are blooming right now and have the pretty uh lavender and red flowers on them and and it's kind of fun to see yeah them. Um, we also have some Coreopsis. We haven't had Coreopsis in a long time, so I'm looking forward to that one. Um, and 
what we call Walker's Low. It's a cat mint mm-hmm. um, that comes back every year. So so we've got a lot of different varieties as far as the perennials go. So okay. that's kind of exciting. And to clarify for the non-gardeners, annuals are just once a year and then they die. Right. But perennials, they'll come back each year. Each year, right. Okay. Right. And then hanging baskets you mentioned? Yes, we've got um, some that are flowering like the petunias. And we've got uh, petunias, mixed colors and calibrachoa and uh, a lot of the ice plant and the dorianthus that are yeah. in baskets also. Um, and then we've also got like um, um, Swedish ivy and um, uh, I'm trying to think of the wandering Jews uh-huh. that are, we've got uh, plants, uh, asparagus fern. We've got some different baskets with those kind of things in them. And then we'll have some mixed baskets that are like three to four different flowers that, put together yeah, that are kind of like along a theme. Okay. And if you want to see a picture of some of these pictures, I went out to the greenhouse today and took some pictures. So those are on our social media. But we'll also have more than that because we do get a truck. And is that usually mainly hanging plants that we get on this truck that comes right before? Yeah, we'll get some hanging plants. Yeah, just because I don't have room for a lot with just the one greenhouse that we're that we're down to right now. But um, also we'll get some vegetables. We're going to have some veggies. And I'm and um, I'm not for sure exactly what we're getting. Okay. But, but last year we were able to get a really nice mix of Selection. things. So that was kind of okay. exciting. And then just a few things. That's honestly where I'll get my shade annuals um, okay. is from them because um, <laughs> in our greenhouse, there's place. nowhere. Yeah, we, we don't have a place for those. Um, so I'll do that too. But, but I was going to tell you too, we have um, – my kids have done a lot of propagating with the scented geraniums, the uh-huh. mosquito shocker plant, yes. and and we were pulling those down and watering and miracle growing those today. And they they are list they're nice looking six good. inch pots. They're really strong. Good. Really we need look, those plants around here. With all really these mosquitoes. Good. So so, um, for, so for that, and then the, with the geraniums, and then um, then the grasses will have um, the lemon grass and the black knight, which has become one of my favorites. Um, it's just. Uh, it's it's just the beautiful black leaves. It doesn't have any plumes on it, but it mm-hmm. just it just really makes a statement in your yeah. yard. It just That's really neat. does. So, um, and then the purple fountain grass, which is kind of a a standard it's one, one of my favorites. So, so I'll have we'll have um, all of those things. And I was trying to think if there was any. Oh, the I, I kind of am one that goes for the plants that have a, a smell or uh-huh. like the scented geranium, like the uh, citronella smell. And there's also a scented geranium that's kind of like a black pepper. Oh, smell and wow. we have quite a few of those this year also um and then there's lemon mint um, yes. which is i think it's called prayer bow and lime that that we've got a lot of and some just some ones with some real unique smells that's that neat get, i'll have to smell when i go out there yeah, next yeah. if i can yeah. so um all the proceeds that you get from this plant sale um kind of lead into some other events you have coming up um and most of the funds you use for student trips and um like special olympics and going to contests is that correct is there um, does that kind of cover most of it? Right. Yeah. We'll leave. Uh, we'll go to SkillsUSA, which is um, the kids competed at regionals. And then I have six that have qualified to go to state. So we'll be going to Tulsa. Um, we'll is be leaving the 23rd. 23rd uh, till on, the 26th or, or the so? 24th Sunday. 24th, we'll be leaving yeah. Sunday, the 24th um, to go to to go to Oklahoma or to Tulsa for SkillsUSA competition. And then in the middle of May, we have a Special Olympics uh, competition. And we'll be going to state. I take about 11 to 12 students student athletes that will be going to Stillwater in in May so that's and those are kind of a first that we've got to have um that we haven't had the last two years with Special Olympics having our um Little Sahara um contest here which was wonderful a couple weeks ago and now getting to go to state and then the same with Skills USA they weren't able to go the last couple of years so and skills usa will also have our construction is part of skills usa program mm-hmm. and that is the program where we have our two state officers um two of of our state officers yasmin um yasmin reyes and she's the president of skills usa and then um kellen kanzler mm-hmm. and he's historian so yasmin is you know, as I said, president of this, and there's 15,000 students in this organization. So she'll get to be speaking in front of many, many people. So this is a, it'll be a big event for um, lots of High Plains students. Yeah. And with our skills, you say it's, it's all of our trades and um, the T&I guys. So it's, it, it'll be, I think diesel's taking some. And I and think auto. Um, I, I, auto might be, I'm not for sure, but welding. 
Okay. So we'll be going for welding. So it's like it's, wow. it's, it covers uh, a lot of our uh, students. Our so. different programs, yeah. So be watching social media and we'll share results from that. And um, thank you, Karen, for being my guest today. And um, remember April 21st and 2nd, 9 to 6 at High Plains Tech Center. Um, thank you for listening. We'll be back here next week on 100.1.